What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking to Air Jordan 4 Midnight Navy. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Alright. So let's dive into today's video. We're talking to Air Jordan 4, Midnight Navy. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release October 29th to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $210, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price and looked like they're averaging $300 and up, depending on the size, right? Okay, now that I think about it, we might as well add flip to this freaking title, right? Okay, so drip, flip, or skip, right? Okay, now let's just take the obvious about this shoe. Midnight Navy, um, obviously, gonna be a great colorway, but right off the rip, gives me cement for buys, right? Okay, only difference is instead of black, we got a navy blue, pretty much, right? Okay, let's just, I mean, no pun intended. Now, only difference between these and the cement fours, obviously, is the back of the logo. We got the Jumpman on the Midnight Navies, and the cement fours, if yours is like mine's, we got the Nike check on the back of those guys, right? Okay, which makes a difference if you ask any true sneakerhead collector, in my opinion. But again, if you got the Jumpman, it's not a like this or anything like that. However, right, okay, with these navy blues, not a bad shoe. I love how they have the flight or the writing in red on the inside of the tongue and of course on the outside of the tongue, which I would like to see like a little bit of, I wouldn't be mad if I saw like a little bit of red splatter on this for the cement colorway, but I know that's not how Jordan brand in or Nike rolls with that. And that's just like a Jeremy design, right? Okay, overall, not a bad shoe and cement fours is always gonna be in my opinion, one of the top like sneaker silhouettes of all times, right? We can, if we was to do like a top five or a top three, you can't talk it. You can't talk top five silhouettes without mentioning cement fours. Or I'll say this: you can't talk um, top five sneakers like top five sneaker silhouettes is what I mean. You can't talk that without mentioning the Jordan 4, right? Okay, timeless sneaker and no difference with this sneaker right here, right? Okay, resale on these, obviously you getting $300 and up. Now I anticipate once these officially drop on October 29th, the price will drop slightly, but not too much. I feel like these are gonna hold value where you can still make $100 in profit if you know how to sell it, right? And timing is and everything. And these will go down, but I have a feeling they will go up. So I feel like, Overall, not a bad shoe, but I am personally on the fence about this sneaker. Not a bad shoe, right? And that's like with Cement 4s, or I keep saying Cement 4s because that's obviously like my favorite like Jordan 4 of all time. But just Jordan 4s in general, I can honestly say that's probably arguably could be like, I, I don't know, Jordan 4s just do something to me. So right now I am on the fence because it's a Jordan 4. I know the comfortability on Jordan 4s are hit or miss, but they like on feet, they just look nice. So obviously y'all already know what my favorite is because I keep throwing some men 4s out there, but neither here nor there, back to these Midnight Navies, man. Overall, right, I'm on the fence, but I cannot, I, I have to say drip. It's drip. This is a drip sneaker, man. Nice shoe, nice simple colorway, nice versatile colorway. If you got anything navy in your closet, these are gonna hit with it, man. I am personally on the fence where I don't think, I, I, I wanna say skip, but I just don't have it in my heart to skip a four like this one, man. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret it down the road if I skip. So I definitely plan on going for these guys on October 29th. Might even go live with these as well, but I don't know. I'm really on the fence, but I can't say skip. These are definitely drip, but I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section and where you'll be going after these on October 29th. Retailing at $210. Come on, Jordan Brand, give us a break, bro. But retailing at $210, and of course, let me know if you think they're drip, 
flip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. Really helps the channel out. And if you know, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.